Hey guys, welcome to another video. This video is going to be the Dino Tune video. We are currently doing a bit of Dino prep just because the car is going to the Dino on Saturday morning. It is now Thursday night. I am working a full-time job, so I can't really spend a lot of time on working on the car during the day tomorrow. So we're only going to have about from 5 until the next morning at 8 o'clock to do whatever needs to be done in case there is something that needs to be done. I'm hoping that everything is just going to go fine. We're not going to have any problems. Everything is going to work. We did change the head gasket again. We have the ARP head studs in. Cooling system is perfect. Doesn't lose coolant. No bubbles in there. None of those issues we had before is currently still present there. I did drive this car to work and, you know, did a few pulls here and there just to make sure it's working. What we're going to do now is change the oil on it, change the filter, put a catch can on it and change out the spark plug wires. That's basically it. The car is for the most part ready. I mean, I've been working on this for quite a while and I think it's ready now to go to the dyno. Now over here I have new spark plugs. Now these are the 7 heat range. The ones that's in the car now is a 6 heat range. So these are better. But I'm not going to put them in now. I'll let the tuner decide if he wants to put them in or not. We have a new oil filter. We have this 2050 oil. Now that is a very thick oil. But I do like that just because, I mean, it is for high mileage cars. And even though the engine is rebuilt on this car, I mean, it still has a... 25 year old oil pump it still has a you know 25 year old cylinder head so i do like to use this just because you get a little bit of high oil pressure with this we have a frame filter probably not the best but it's what i could get and then we have the ngk spark plug wires here's the part number if anyone wants to buy these i'll link them in the description below and as you guys can see it's the ngk one so they are blue so i'm hoping they will fit with the whole you know blue theme we have going on in here we have just a normal old school uh, catch can this is just a cheap amazon one i'll link this in the description as well we'll install this one now so i'll tell you guys if it's any good here we have the old boost control that was on the car i actually put this on the car i set it to what i thought was going to have no effect on the boost and then it made 12 psi so i don't think i know how this thing works so I was thinking perhaps it's faulty and then for in case I bought another one which is once again just the cheapest Amazon one but the guys say that these do work so I'm not too worried. So I'm going to leave this and the spark plugs to the tuner. He can change the spark plugs if you want. He can choose which boost controller he wants to use and then install that. The boost piping and everything is ready. There's the mount for that boost controller. As you guys can see the pipe is here and cut already. You just have to put the boost controller in this area and off you go currently it's just bypassed so it's going to be very easy to install for the tuner so what i'm going to do is change the oil i'm not going to show you guys that uh, install this i'll show you guys this once i'm done and then i'm going to drive it to work tomorrow make sure everything is fine we do have a clean oil catch pan here so we will be able to inspect the oil see what the oil looks like i have seen it on a dipstick and it does look kind of new because we did change this oil after we did about two heat cycles then i changed it and the oil that's in here has done about a thousand to a thousand five hundred kilometers not really sure because the speedometer was not working for some of that time okay guys and dyno prep is done we changed the oil changed the oil filter we installed the catch can. I did test it. I did blow on that hose. It's not blocked. We installed the plug wires. Came out really nice. Now here's the oil that came out. I tried to check. I couldn't see any uh, shavings in it. It does look very black, but if you look at the oil like this, you can actually see it's, it's actually still quite in good condition. But yeah, like I said, there's about a thousand miles on this oil. And we did do an oil change after two heat cycles. I'm going to... Just clean the car up tomorrow after work. This is a little bit dirty because I did drive it. So I'm going to give it a quick wash and then just drive it around for a bit, make sure everything's fine. And then Saturday morning at 8, we're at the diner. So I'll see you guys there.
guys so here's the car it did survive the dyno as you can hear the engine does run fine you don't have any issues there Now we did run into a few issues. Number one was the ignition. So the ignition on, the ignition barrel in the car actually stopped working. So they had a fancy probe there, just pulled off the wire that triggers the relay and they connected it to that and they could start it with that probe they were using. And in the end they actually wired up a hot wire for me so I can start it and drive home. Now once we got to about where it was at 7 PSI and making 163 horsepower, uh, a little bit of coolant started seeping out of here. So I told the tuner, you know, just hold on, let's investigate. Uh, we checked over it and the pressure in the hoses was a bit um, too much. There was a bit too much pressure in the hoses. Now there should be pressure in the hoses if the car is hot, but it shouldn't be excessive. And the tuner felt him and he said it's a little bit higher than what he likes. So he recommended that we just leave it there. But I was not going to leave it there because that's about the same power he used to make. So I told him, listen, let's um, tighten down the head studs. Because luckily on the single cams it's quite easy, you just take the valve cover off and you can access the head start bolts. Let's talk down the head start to 90 newton meters and then just go again. And he didn't really agree with that, but of course I'm a client so I'm always right. So we did that and then we installed the little boost controller over here. We gave it one click and did another run. While that was happening we had this out of here, so it was laying here so we can see if it's blasting coolant out of there. First one didn't push any coolant out of there, so I was kind of thinking that maybe the torque dead sides fixed it. Then I told him I want a bit more. We did it again. We made 139 kilowatts, which is about 186 horsepower, which is, you know, it's decent for the car, but I wanted 200. Anything from 200, I'm happy. Under 200, not really so happy. Now, the engine can only handle about 220, maybe 230 if you push it. That's wheel horsepower. Anything more than that, and the rods are literally just waiting to leave the block. So, so at the 200 range is where I wanted it to be. But after like the 187 uh, horsepower pull, the tuner kind of said, you know, we should probably not push it any further because uh, it might actually let go. And if coolant obviously gets into the cylinders, you will blow up the engine. So he recommended that we stop there after he actually recommended we stop initially. But yeah, car made decent power. I drove it here. Obviously, I didn't do a lot of pulls while I was far away, but once I got close to my house where, you know, if something goes wrong, I'm not too far from my house. I did do a few pulls and the car pulls really nice, really strong. You do now notice the lag even more because it keeps on building and building and building boost. So you do notice a lot of turbo lag, which previously was not so much noticeable because it would just uh, peak and then hold that boost at some point. But yeah, we started with 107 kilowatts and we ended up with 187. So, I mean, that is a lot of power gained. But of course, now I'm not 100% sure about the head gasket and if this all is going to uh, hold up. So I'm going to have to test the head gasket, see if the cooling system is holding up. If it does, very lucky. If it doesn't, then we're back to where we were with the blown head gasket situations. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.